Welcome to this week's JVA Coach to Coach Video, video of, the, of week. the Week. Brought to you by Ultra Ankle, the official ankle brace of the JVA. Hi there, my name is Lauren Anderson. I'm the director of Rise Volleyball Academy in Boise, Idaho. And uh, today I'm just demonstrating one of the games we play in our gym a lot that we call boxed fours and the different uh, permutations that we use with it throughout uh, the course of a practice throughout, throughout the course of a season. I hope you enjoy, thanks. Now here we have a few of our girls who came in and uh, they're demonstrating a game we play a lot in our gym uh, called box fours. I guess it's not really a game so much as a format in which we can build games into. Uh, rather than the typical four on four format where you have one person at the net acting as setter and uh, three people acting as passers or hitters uh, in this format, we're really focusing on the out of system play. Uh, so the front row players uh, are at the net or in serve receive, they're off. And the front row players are acting as blockers and attackers only, ideally. And the two back row players are passer slash setter. Uh, we want our players to all be very good at stepping in and setting the ball. Um, we want them to be good at transitioning and we want them to be good at blocking. We feel this uh, game allows for that. Uh, the person in the back row who doesn't pass the ball steps in and becomes a setter and is thinking about putting up a ball that is a out of system set meaning for us that's five by five, five feet off the net, five feet inside the court. Within this format, we then can play a variety of different games. Um, right here, they're showing just simple uh, queen of the court boxed fours. Uh, winner moves to the queen side. We also have a format that we call layers. In layers, uh, the coaches or the players will dictate uh, what it takes to advance the score. Um, we usually start with all the teams at 15 points, and then uh, again, the players or the coaches will dictate um, how you get maybe points uh, 16 through 18, uh, as shown in this example, um, and then 19 through 21. 22 through 24, and then uh, some sort of kind of seal the deal type thing to get the 25th point. Uh, we also like to have consequences for the things we're trying to avoid, like missed serves. So if they miss a serve, they lose a point. And if they don't go for a ball, if there's no hustle for a particular ball, uh, we will drop them back to the starting score of 15. And of course, you could start at any score you want and make your increments be anything that you want. Um, so that, again, that is uh, layers. Uh, for us, we would call it uh, boxed fours layers. Uh, another example that we use in our gym is boxed fours bingo. Uh, here's an example of what their cards look like. Uh, the players, we let the players fill these cards out themselves um, and put the items in the boxes that they want to work on. We do give them a warning that if we feel that the item, the card itself is too easy, we'll swap it with another team's card. Um, but uh, yeah, so the, it's pretty a autonomous in the fact that we're letting the players work on what they feel is necessary uh, or challenging or fun. And uh, they just play this box fours format while working on completing the card. So I guess it's not true bingo, but uh, as soon as all of the items on the card are X'd out, they win, and uh, we would then move on to the next game in our gym. Uh, so again, these are uh, just examples of games that we play surrounding the format of boxed fours. Thank you for watching the JVA Coach to Coach video, video of, of the week. week.